Hi guys! It has been a while, but it is finally time for some new releases. Um, I've got several kits to show you, lots of characters, die cuts, all kinds of fun stuff, and I, I'm legitimately proud of each and every single piece I have here. So before I jump into all that, I wanted to tell you about the sale. So first of all, all of the new releases will be 20% off uh, from whenever they go live all the way through Sunday at midnight Eastern time. I will include the dates and times in the description below. But in addition, I'm also going to be offering something special. From the time these go live through the end of Friday at midnight Eastern time. So these should all go up Thursday night. So you'll have a little over 24 hours, but for that whole entire time, free shipping on the whole shop. I did a free shipping Friday about two weeks ago and you guys all loved it and I wanna keep offering it. Um, not every Friday, but uh, during special Fridays, especially during uh, times when I have new releases, so there's a little bit of an incentive to pick it up uh, earlier. Um, so, 20% off, fr free shipping on Friday, um, and these will all be live in the on sale section for the whole weekend and then they will be in their respective sections of the shop after that. So, um, yeah, before we get started, let's talk about freebies. The pen test freebie has not changed. Um, it's still, I don't have one near me, but it's still the same. Here is the new freebie for the month of August. Any order made in this month will receive this freebie. It has the Instagram girls and the Etsy girls. I will be releasing these next month. These just are social media characters. And I thought they'd be fun to include on here. I'm a big fan of these ones here because I usually use, um, like computer stickers to mark work both for the shop and like my actual job so I think these will be fun to mark shop things so those are your freebies uh, there's a bit to show you guys but I am going to start with the character stickers since that is going to be the one that's going to be quickest to get through so let me clean this all up a little bit and we will start with our characters so there are six different character sheets that I am releasing this time around Three of them are fall themed, two of them are uh, from last month's freebie, and one of them is just one that I kind of associate with fall and wanted to bring out. Let me start with the two that were on last month's freebie, and the first one of those is the artist one. Um, I am so excited about this. I've been using these to mark drawing in my planner, and I have gotten some great reception about these guys. So we've got the little character holding a paint easel and a brush and she's got a little cute beret so we have them in the larger stickers and the smaller ones and this is Abby the Burnett. We have this in Brie, Barb, and Aria. That is the artist stickers that were on the July freebie. And then we have the bedtime ones. Um, one of these designs was on the July freebie and one I sneaked on a freebie months and months ago, it feels like, but you have uh, bedtime stickers. So you have the character holding a pillow with, um, I don't know what these are called, like the eye covers. This one is pink and then she has like a stack of pillows and a pillowcase and a blue one. So I thought pink and blue would be really cute colors to put together. So I have been using these for a bit, I'll admit. Um, so first of all, let me give you a nice shot of that. And you've got the smaller ones there. So I use them both to mark um, uh, on my, like, whenever I do like a habit of waking up early or going to bed on time, I like to use these. Whenever I mark my naps, I use these. But I've actually been using them also to mark um, changing or cleaning my sheets. So um, that's been fun. So we have Abby, Aria, Brie, and Barb. Just giving you a close up. So those are the bedtime stickers. Next, I wanted to show you the character sticker that I kind of associate with fall, but it's not technically fall. It is the sick stickers. I just always get sick in the fall and winter. Um, it's because I don't wear proper uh, like jackets and stuff and everybody else gets sick. I don't know. So we've got the character like all bundled up with like an ice pack on and she just looks so sad. So we've got these in the Abbey, Aria, Barb, and Brie. Um, I don't have that many six stickers, so I'm excited to add these to my collection. So next we have my fall themed stickers. Um, I might have some more fall characters come out, but for now these are the ones that I have prepared. The first one was one of the most beloved stickers. Um, actually during the beginning of this year I took this down because it's these really are like fall um, stickers. So these are coffee stickers. Now let's see if I can get this to focus nicely. 
So we have the character um, like holding a coffee, um, looks like a frappuccino, um, like all bundled up with books and she's just so cute. So I have her facing both directions, very cute. So we have Abby, Barb, Brie, and Aria. Um, so the main, so the, these are a reformat from before. The main difference is I just made the cut lines a little cleaner on them, but you, I'm not sure you can notice, and I made the colors a teensy bit more vibrant. So the next fall uh, character I have is the apple picking one. I don't go apple picking. I've never gone apple picking, but it's just such a fall activity. So we have the character all bundled up in a sweater holding a basket of apples with one of my favorite hairstyles I have on character. So we've got the large ones and the small ones with Abby, Brie, Barb, and Arya. So the last character sticker I have is the playing in the leaves. I just called it the leaves sticker, but it is the character surrounded by leaves and it's obvious she's been throwing them up in the air, but I just think she's so cute all bundled up in her blue sweater. I was thinking of doing these also in different colors, but I couldn't think of any color that would also go well with the leaves. So we've got Abby, Barb, Aria, and Brie. So those are the six character stickers that I have um, coming out or that have gone live. Um, if you guys have any particular request for a type of activity for character stickers, let me know, particularly for fall ones, because I never know what to do for like seasonal uh, character stickers. So next I want to show you some of the die cuts that I have. I also have some die cuts that match a few of the kits, but I'm going to show you those with the kits. Um, but I wanted to show you uh, these guys. So these basically just match the, um, the character sheets you just saw. Um, so I have no idea when I'm going to use the like girl playing with the leaves character sticker because I don't have any leaves to rake. I live in an apartment, but I am working on a fall TN setup and you know this girl is going straight in it. So um, I honestly like don't get me wrong. I love the character sheet, but this die cut is so good. Um, so if you didn't know my die cuts are on uh, they're glossy. It's uh, pretty thick and it is sticker paper. Um, I never realized how hard sticker paper is to take off of backing when it's not like kiss cut um, around it or like when you have like extra paper to pull up against. But anyway, these are stickers if you want to use them as that. I don't. I use them as die cuts. So we have the character playing in the leaves. We have a bedtime version one um, and this is also a great chance for you guys to see the designs a little more clearly. But. Um, yeah, just bedtime stickers. I don't know if I could see myself using these particularly, um, although I am working on like a, a habits journal and this wouldn't be a terrible one uh, to use in that. We have the second bedtime one, which is adorable and I've had for a while in like my personal collection. Then we have the art one, which I love, and I don't know where I'll put her. Um, I have like a idea notebook basically for possible like things for the shop that I can draw, and I think just using one of these little gals would be perfect, and they're just so cute. Um, these are a personal favorite of mine. We have the sick stickers or die cuts, which I'm not really sure of a proper use for this, but. I promised that I would uh, release die cuts that match my character stickers and you guys seem to like them so I will. Um, and then the next two are my last two fall ones. Uh, these are 100% going in my fall TN setup. This one especially is just ugh, so freaking cute. And like here you can kind of see some of that pattern on her scarf you couldn't see when it was smaller. But these gals are just so freaking adorable. So these are going in my TN as well as the apple picking ones, even though I have no idea if I'll even do apple picking these, this year, these guys are too cute to pass up. So for the character stickers, each type of character has its own listing, uh, but for the die cuts it's all under one listing and you just choose which character. I have listed like which one's which, um, just because I had some questions about where the rest of these were. So those are the characters and some of the die cuts I have. Let's move into some kits. Alright, here is my September monthly. Um, I have not been this obsessed with a monthly kit. 
I think since forever. Um, I'm more of a week, I'm more of a weekly kit person, but I am beyond obsessed with this kit. Let me open it up. All right. So first of all, you do get a freebie strip to mark out the days not in the month. Um. All right. I gotta show you this as a full scene. So in September, there's a giant chunk of space. Uh, at the top left, so I decided to make a scene, which is something I haven't done in a while. But look how cute that is! And this font is something I've never used before, and it's so dainty. And I am freaking obsessed with this monthly, and I might film my plan with me like several weeks early. So, anyway, here's the kit. Um, ooh, that is, I messed that up a lot. So, we have the two bars to mark the top of, um, you know, the Erin Condren. We have two strips to mark out time. And then the holidays. Tons of holidays in this month. Then we have our stackable sidebar and sidebar headers and those four full boxes that make the scene. We have our date dots, bill due, payday, day off, and icons. We have more strips to mark off time, two flags, some deco, and some labels. Uh, I am, again, obsessed with this monthly kit. Um, and I'm not using any monthly kit other than this one because I'm pumped about it. So that monthly is technically part of the pastel fall collection, um, which also is technically a reformat from last year, but I promise you this kit has changed so much that it feels like a completely different kit. So let me open this up. Hopefully I remember to put in the old full boxes, but this has almost completely changed. I mean, there's several full boxes that are the same, but this kit, like, I even pulled in different colors for, like, the main colors of the kit. So hopefully I can remember to show you the old one. But here is the pastel fall kit. We've got the cute girl over here drinking her coffee, the bike, the umbrella, the coffee and pretzel, the nail, the double box scene that you can see. This is, in from, this is what made up the September monthly scene. And then the shopping bags. So when I first released this, um, it wasn't released as like an official kit, um, which is to say that like I had made the kit for personal use and somebody asked me to list it. Um, so one of the things I always regretted with doing that was that I didn't offer more girl options. This was the only one you got. So I do have more girl options available in addition to um, the dark skin and the light skin with uh, blonde hair I included two more like non natural hair colors so we have like this red that is like my goal hair color and then this like bright purple that I thought would be fun and different so that is the front page in the full boxes um, and these are freebie full boxes you just get with the kit so the first time I released the kit one of the colors uh, accent colors I pulled in was this like yellow color but I decided to keep change the color so it feels like a completely different kit um, I'm, I don't do a lot of reformats um, because I don't like using the same kit twice, but this kit feels so different I am still going to use it. So here are the colors. We've got our half boxes and quarter boxes page. We've got our labels and little things. Our functional page with the characters I decided to go with where's the coffee girls because of course they're just so perfect. We have the uh, date covers, date dots, large icons, and the deco. Then we have the glitter headers and regular headers, and these glitter headers are so good. Um, and then lastly, we have the bottom washi, which I actually kept the same as I had it last time, and then all of our pattern washi, which is just very eclectic. So that is the pastel fall vertical kit that I am, oh, this, it's just, I'm so obsessed with this, guys. I... I'm obsessed with most kits that I do, but this one I can't even get to explain to you how obsessed I am. This kit also does come in a mini version. Um, so we have the optional glitter header add-on, the freebie full boxes, the same full boxes as the vertical kit and the weekend banner, the washi and habit trackers page, our functional page with the small selection of deco, and then the coffee girls and our last functional page here. Since this kit does come with a, a horizontal double box like this, I do not uh, have this kit as a horizontal kit. It's just when um, kits have a double box like this, it's almost impossible to properly use them in a horizontal. So if a kit has that, I'm most likely not going to come out with it in horizontal. But if you are a horizontal user, I do have a kit for you that will probably be the last kit I show you. 
So that is the Pastel Fall Collection with a vertical mini and um, monthly, and I am so obsessed. The last part of the Pastel Fall Collection is a die cut pack. I've been doing this for some collections, um, but it's basically a sticker sheet and matching die cuts. Um, I know die cuts and all that aren't for everyone, but especially for me now that I get more into TNs, having these like fall themed die cuts is going to be amazing in decorating. So let me lay these suckers all out. So we've got the bike, the coffee cup, the bags, some like decorative things. We've got a nail polish, a shoe that you can't see. We've got a flower, a tree, those pumpkins. The umbrella, which is so cute. Another tree, more nail polish. You can see it all in the listing picture. Oh, one more there. And then here is, uh, this is the deco from the kit, but you get a lot more. So if you're interested in more deco that comes with it, uh, then comes with the kit, you can pick up the die cut pack and you get a lot more of it. Um, but I will be using the die cuts and possibly some of the stickers in my fall TN setup, which I will hopefully film for you guys. So up next, I have the Cozy Fall Collection, which again is technically a reformat, but I feel like it's changed enough that it's cons I would consider it new. So I did uh, I didn't mess with like the main colors of the kit, but I messed with a lot of colors in the full boxes and I changed them up. Again, I'll try to remember to show a picture of the old full boxes, but I, the ones that I know are new are like this one here. Uh, the double box scene for sure, these clothes. Um, there was like a splash of marble in the last one I did, and um, I wasn't a fan of it then, and I still am not. So, this is what we have now. Oh, and then the freebie full boxes you get with two more girl options. We have our colors of the kit. These are a lot more deep fall colors. I know that not everyone is into the bright pastels for fall, so I wanted to do a good mix of both. We have our half boxes page our little things in solid washi. For this functional page, I again chose the girls with the coffee because they made the most sense with this kit. We have the date cover page with our lovely, lovely deco and icons. And then our headers and glitter headers are bottom washi. So that is the Cozy Fall Vertical Kit. This collection does come in a mini. So we have the optional gl glitter header add-ons, the freebie full boxes. We have the same full boxes in our weekend banner, our bottom washi and habit trackers, our small selection of deco and functional page, and then our character stickers, headers, little things, half boxes, and so on. So those are the kits that come in the cozy fall collection. Again, there's a double box, so this doesn't come in horizontal. I do have a die cut pack for this collection, and these are the ones that I think I'm going to more heavily use in my um, TN setup, just because the TN setup is going to be a lot darker colors. So let me lay these out for you. And you get a good amount of these die cuts, and they're made as the same material as my larger die cuts. The technically a sticker, but thicker, glossy. That's what it feels like. Just making sure you're all in frame to see these lovely pieces. <sighs> Yeah, so like not all of these are going to match my spread, but like definitely like these cocoa and all of these lights and then definitely these cute shoes, not lights, flowers, floral stuff. Um, yeah. So that's the die cut pack and a ton of deco. Um, so again, if you don't feel like the kit comes with enough deco, which for me it comes with a ton of deco, but I know some people just can never have enough, you can pick up the, uh, this pack and if you don't want the die cuts, I mean. You still have a sticker sheet. So the last collection I have to show you guys is a horizontal exclusive collection. So I don't normally do horizontal exclusive. It's either a vertical or mini exclusive. But this is something I really wanted to show you guys. Before I jump into the kit, we're going to jump into my 2017 planner super quick. So in 2017, I was very jealous. I was using my horizontal planner and everyone got these gorgeous double boxes in their kits and I couldn't really use them because of how, you know, full boxes are laid out in the horizontal. So I decided to jump into the realm of vertical double boxes and this was the kit I did it with. So that's this week in my planner. So I had this double box here and these, this double box here. I thought it was gonna be weird, but it honestly turned out great. 
and it was one of my favorite kits. Uh, this was back when I was doing just two colors in kits, not four, but I loved it. Um, as you can see from the Hello Autumn, it is an autumn themed kit. So I decided to bring it back this year, particularly in this release because I was doing a lot of like reformats of previous kits, but I'm not releasing them in horizontal, so I wanted to make sure my lovely horizontal people could get their fix as well. So I changed some of the double boxes, um, but you can see like the gist of it is still there. Hello, Autumn. But it's just so gorgeous. Um, tell me if you like this vertical double box look for horizontal kits. Uh, they are cut, so like it's not like a true double box in the sense that like it's one sticker, but I usually prefer these. But I'd love your thoughts. I don't use a horizontal anymore, so I, I don't feel like I have my, my my thumb on like the heartbeat of what horizontal lovers are using. But in terms of a no white space kit, I know double boxes really add something special. So here we have the front page. We have our checklists, our half boxes, our little things and uh, divider strips. Um, for this kit, I decided to use the Leaves Girls as the freebie gals on there, and we have our functional page. We have our deco date covers icons, our headers and glitter headers, our top washi, pattern washi, another weekend banner, a plan next week sticker, and your exclusive for now, planner girl. Uh, this girl is not anywhere in the shop because I only have her as a brunette right now, and I keep putting off getting her in different styles. There it is, guys. Um, don't you just love looking at a giant pile of stickers? Oh, and we can't forget the freebie for the month of August. This has already started going out in orders. So don't forget, 20% off through Sunday, free shipping just on Friday. And um, for those of you who stuck around here till the end, I do have a lot of oops bags still available. I actually put up together a ton in the last two weeks. Basically just in the notes of your order, just say that you would like an oops bag and I will throw in a bag of stickers that I've somehow messed up on. Um, sometimes you're gonna get like one or two, sometimes you're gonna get eight to 10. It depends on how many I have available. So. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know what kind of fall kits you'd like to see. I know I'm a little late in getting that, and there are definitely some reformats from last year I want to bring back, especially some of my Halloween stuff was on point. But other than that, thank you all for watching, and uh, make sure to check out the description for all the links and information. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.